Learning to code is extremely hard, especially when you're learning on your own. In the previous videos, you guys tell me that you really, really loved the React video about how to learn React. And in that video, I talked about a bunch of project ideas. So today, I figured it will be helpful to share some of my top React project ideas for you guys to build as you are learning React in your journey. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time React developer, software engineer living in New York City. So if you are interested in learning more about how to learn to code, web development, and all things related to tech, this might be the perfect channel for you. Before I jump into all these cool React project ideas, I do want to talk about the reasons why we are learning React. One of the cool things about React is that it is mostly just JavaScript code. If you are a JavaScript developer, learning React would be easier for you because mostly you are just coding in JavaScript. Not only you can use React to work on web development, but if you are familiar with the React system or the React framework, you can just quickly teach yourself how to use React Native which is also a framework that helps JavaScript developers to build hybrid mobile app. In particularly for this video, I do wanted to focus on talking about React instead of React Native or mobile development. So if you're interested in mobile development, I do have a bunch of videos over here that you can check them out after you watch this video. Okay, so project idea number one is the weather application that built with React. One of the cool things about building weather application is that you actually get to use APIs. So in this tutorial created by Taylor Potts, he talks about how exactly you can build the weather app in React.js. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn so much about React.js, like the fundamentals and the basics, as well as just how exactly can you fetch APIs with hooks. Um, this tutorial is definitely worth checking out and definitely worth for you to spend time building on your own. Project idea number two is actually created by Travis e Media. Now this channel is probably one of the popular channel in web development. And if you have not subscribed to them yet, I would highly recommend that. But in particular for one of the videos that I created, it's called the Build and Expense Tracker Using React Hooks and Context API. Now in that tutorial, it shows you how to create a expense tracker application using React Hooks and Context API. And that is very cool. One of the things that I talked about in my previous videos is about how important learning React, especially learning state management. It also introduces you a new way of state management by using Context API instead of using Redux. Now, I do have opinions about learning Redux. I still think that it's crucial to learn Redux along with React because there are still so many companies that are using Redux for state management. In this particular tutorial, you're gonna learn about you know, React basics and fundamentals and also get familiar with control forms and submit forms in React and things like that. The third project idea is actually a game. I know you're excited for that because let's face it, a lot of the project ideas that most people recommend are not games, are mostly just some dull, you know, practical applications that you can build with, with React. So the project idea is actually build Handman with React by Codestacker. So um, this is actually a really, really, really cool tutorial. In this video, he shows you how to create a Handman game using React with hooks. And as you already know this that hooks is such a popular thing nowadays and you probably should force yourself to actually understand react hooks and how exactly can you use react hooks to build things that are custom for your application 
project number four is the good old to-do list. You know how I feel about to-do lists. I cannot preach more about how important it is to be able to create your own to-do list on your own. And if you're getting stuck and you have no idea how to start, I definitely found a video or tutorial that shows you exactly how to build a to-do list in React. The tutorial that I found is from Dev Ed. He creates a lot of tutorials in this community. I would highly recommend you guys to check him out. And he shows you how to create to do list application in React.js. What you are going to learn is the thing called CRUD, which stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. And it's extremely important to be able to really understand how to create that. For particularly this tutorial, I would say don't just watch the tutorial, make sure that you can understand how to build your own to-do list without watching the tutorial as well. If you are currently getting values for this video, smash smash that like button and also share this video with someone else I would greatly appreciate that it helps with the algorithm it helps me and it helps this channel let's get back to the video project number five is the photo gallery with react.js and firebase now for those of you who doesn't know what firebase is it's a NoSQL database that allows you to basically grab data in a NoSQL structure. Um, it's very similar to MongoDB, but I've also heard a lot of great things about Firebase. So now this tutorial is created by Nat Ninja, and he teaches you how to create a photo gallery using React.js and also using Firebase as its database. Um, this tutorial not only covers the basics and the fundamentals of React, but also it shows you how to create your own custom hooks. That is fire! <laughs> and I am definitely highly recommend this tutorial for two following reasons. The first reason is because you always get to practice the React basics and fundamentals no doubt for that and the second highlights of this tutorial is actually creating your own hooks that is a very good skill to have and i definitely recommend to follow along with this tutorial project number six is how to build a better Spotify with React. So I think the whole idea of this project is to get a sense of how you can leverage all the skills that you learned from you know, the previous projects and take it to the next level. So creating your own Spotify application can be really tricky and can be also really fun. In this tutorials that I found from Web Dev Simplified, he shows you how to create a Spotify clone that not only has many Spotify features, but also includes like lyrics, lookups, or any songs you want. Not only that you're going to learn about the React basics and the fundamentals, but also you are going to create your own search functionality. And nowadays, I would say that there are a bunch of features that are extremely important for you to know how to do, especially the search functionality as well as the filter functionality. And then also as well as, you know, working with the API, fetch APIs with hooks, and just learning about hooks in general and leveraging hooks to build applications in React. Obviously, I didn't take all the credits for it. I want to thank the YouTube community with all these YouTubers and developers who created all these tutorials for the community and especially for a beginner. Follow all these amazing YouTubers because they do put down a lot of efforts to create these tutorials and these contents online. If you're currently learning React, let me know that what are some of the biggest challenges that you face and how you overcome them. As you all know that following a tutorial can be really really tricky because sometimes you just follow one tutorial after another. It's actually really hard to 
kill the cycle of like trapping into a tutorial hell check out this video over here that i created to help you to escape from tutorial hell and help you to really 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 get to code on your own thank you so much for watching until next time i will talk to you soon stay safe and adios